Charles Garage. Uh, we're going to be doing the part two of fixing the Honda Civic's AC. Today we have the vacuum pump here. We've got our manifold gauges right over here. We've got our fittings, high and low pressure uh, fit fittings. We're going to be recharging the refrigerant today. But before we do that, we're gonna pull a vacuum for about 30 minutes to an hour just to make sure there's no leaks in the system and to kind of vacuum out any, anything that's in there moisture wise. So in order to do that, I have my lines set up. They're color coded with low, high, and the yellow middle line. The yellow middle one is connected to my vacuum pump down here on the floor. I've got my red high side uh, connector. And forgive me, this is my first time doing this, but I've been doing a lot of research on how to do it. So if I have any uh, you know mistakes here and there, just let me know. Um, that way I can let others know, but so far, we're gonna work through this together because I don't wanna pay the dealer $500 to do this when I can just buy the recharge kit myself. So we've got our high pressure side here and we've got our high pressure valve or the, the high side. I'm gonna unscrew the cap. All right, so that's on there good. Now I'm gonna tighten it down clockwise. There you go. That's not going anywhere. Okay, next one we're gonna do is the low pressure side which is right over here. The, the cap is marked L and the other cap was marked H so you don't get these confused. There you go. Let's screw it down and then give it a, the tug test. Yeah, that's on there. Okay, low pressure and high pressure sides are on now. We've got our vacuum pump in. Let's go ahead and read our uh, pressures. So far we have zero. Let's see what happens if I open these valves here. Still at zero, which is what we want. I'm gonna turn on the vacuum pump. And I've already oiled this machine already. Here it is. All right, we're turning it on. And then take a look at the pressure gauges. Right now we're at uh, zero on each side. And once I open these valves, we're gonna be at 30, around 30 inches of mercury. And we're gonna start pulling a vacuum. So I'm gonna start it now. We're gonna open this side first. And you can see the gauge start to go towards the 30. There you go. So this one's near 30, the high side. And this one is also uh, around 30 as well for the uh, low side. We're gonna close. So I'm gonna close the valves here. So let's close this low side. Close, and close the high side. All right, so now we're closed and sealed. I'm gonna turn off the vacuum pump. Mm. And we're going to pay attention to these gauges and make sure that they stay at 30 inches of mercury for at least a half an hour. And then we'll come back and see if we're still at 30 inches of mercury on each side. And if that's the case, that means we have no leaks. And if we have no leaks, we can go ahead and recharge with refrigerant. So we'll be back in an hour. All right, so this is about a half hour later. We're still at negative 30 inches of mercury so let's go pull a vacuum for another maybe 45 minutes so I'm gonna turn the vacuum back on let's open our valves all right and now we're back to pulling a vacuum again this is gonna suck all the moisture out of the system to make sure that we're ready to charge the refrigerant back in. So this is my pump that I'm using. It's a whole entire uh, set. It comes with the manifold gauges too. I got this from Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description for all the equipment that we have today that we're using. So we'll be back in 45 minutes. All right, so we uh, sucked vacuum for 45 minutes. I turned off the vacuum pump, but before I did that, I closed these valves here. I'm gonna put a little bit of UV dye, probably about half this bottle. This is a one ounce bottle. 
So I'm gonna put some UV dye into the system so that, so that uh, if we have a leak in the future, I can find it easily. All right, so I put about one quarter of an ounce of UV dye into this yellow middle line. And then I also put a little bit of uh, uh, PAG oil about three milliliters of pag oil because we had lost some when we installed the compressor so a little bit of pag oil a little bit of uv dye to check for leaks next time so i'm just tightening this up now perfect i'm gonna undo this middle valve here so we can purge the air out of the system but before i do that i gotta uh tighten this up so tightening the bottom self-sealing can this is uh 12 ounces of refrigerant i think we're gonna start with just 12 ounces i don't want to overcharge the system the maximum weight for this right now is uh, about uh, 15 ounces. So we'll just go a little under that just to be safe. Tighten in all my fittings here, this fitting, and then now we're gonna pierce the can. All right, so make sure all my lines are closed. Let's pierce this can. All right, so we're gonna purge the air out of the system here. All right, so we got refrigerant coming out now. So air is purged out, as you can see on my screwdriver. I'm gonna put my cap back on for this so it doesn't leak here. Put this in a cool part of the engine bay so that there's no risk of explosions. I'm gonna go start the car and then I'm also gonna turn on the AC uh, and put it on recirculate so we can get the clutch to kick in. So give me a second to do that. Okay, so I got the AC on. Now I'm gonna open the low side port. And as I do that, we're starting to charge the refrigerant here. So there's the compressor. The compressor just kicked on and we are charging the system. Check it out. So right here is the low pressure. And if you look closely in here, in this little glass, you might be able to see some of the refrigerant going into the system. So you can see some of the liquid going into the system in that center uh, glass. So we'll keep an eye on the pressures. We're up to 100 on the high side and about 20 on the low side. And what I'm doing with the, the can is I'm putting it upside down, I'm going sideways, I'm keeping the can moving. And this can is really cold right now. So while this is going, let's go check the vents in the car and see if it's blowing cooler. I am so happy right now. We <laughs> finally have cold air. Oh my God, that feels cold. <laughs> I wish we had a thermometer to see how cold it is, but this yeah. is awesome. I know. I think we can do one one can of, uh, of refrigerant, but uh, let's go back and check our pressures. So the fact that it's blowing cold is a good sign. There's still a little bit left in the can, so I'm gonna go empty this can out, and then I think that's it. I don't want to overcharge. So right now it's 65 degrees ambient temperature, and at 65 degrees, I'm aiming for 25 to 35 psi on the low side. And it uh, looks like 135 to 155 PSI on the high side. So, uh, now this can is pretty much empty. I'm looking at this middle uh, glass here and I don't see anything. I don't see anything in there really as much except air. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close off our valve. So we're going to close the low side. All right, low side is closed, high side has always been closed. And then I'm gonna close this. Okay, so we finished um, charging the system. Our pressures look good. I closed both valves. Now I'm gonna remove these and then cap them with the, the proper cap. So this is the high side. Let's go cap it. And I'm gonna move, remove the low side. I'm gonna cap it.
driver's side is blowing cold and the middle is also blowing nice and cold so i'm kind of i'm happy with the performance of this this is better than no ac at all and i don't want to risk overcharging anything we're going to stick with this and then see what happens you know i mean if anything happens later down the line at least we know we can fix it but this is a lot better than no ac i can fall asleep in here this is like heaven all right so i'm going <laughs> to shut off the car now we've charged the system everything's good to go uh, I'll keep you guys updated on if we have any other leaks or any issues, but uh, 134A, no more of that 1234YF uh, crap that keeps on leaking. I'll let you guys know if this works out well for us. So far though, I mean, that's a good sign. Um, you know, we'll find out in the first week if it's if there's any issues with leaking or anything, but uh, I'm very satisfied. New compressors in, no leaks in the system, new refrigerant, pressures look good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, you know, just undo all of these lines, put the stuff away. The the kit comes in this nice bag, so I can keep it all keep it all uh, organized for now. Uh, very happy. Uh, hopefully it lasts. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. And if Elise has anything to say, she'll say it to you guys. But thanks a lot. <laughs> all right. All right.